UVA's annual Pancakes for Parkinson's fundraiser, benefiting the Michael J. Fox Foundation, set out to raise $70,000 this past Saturday. To students, it's the most popular charity event of the year. But to patients, it means more money for finding a cure. Marcia Allback, a local spokeswoman for the Michael J. Fox Foundation, was diagnosed with early onset Parkinson's at the age of 30. For Allback, being at Pancakes for Parkinson's is important, but requires four days of rest, a visit to her doctor, and a higher dosage of medication for her to have the energy to attend. Going to Pancakes for Parkinson's isn't easy for you to do. Why do you still do it? I have a drive. Uh, my family has done pancakes for Parkinson's for years. My grandfather had it. The support system was unbelievable. Every year I go, I meet more people who are sort of shy in the community who want to get involved. One of those people is Henry Crochet. Yes. As Pancakes uh, for so Parkinson's co-chair, Henry coordinated the 250 volunteers necessary to make 10,000 pancakes and the multiple student groups needed to provide entertainment during the event. For Henry, the effort is worth it because he believes the money will help people like Marcia. Interacting with them almost puts a completely different perspective for me where it becomes that much more real where this is where the money's going, this is why we're doing all we do to help fight this disease. Pancakes for Parkinson's has raised over $470,000 in research funds for the Michael J. Fox Foundation. The University of Virginia receives a portion of that money and has focused their research on older Parkinson's disease, but is not well equipped to help people like Marcia, who are diagnosed before age 50 and often have to travel hours for their monthly doctor's appointments. We're starting to make some noise. We need some help in the community and we need the treatment right here. We would, don't want to go home on breaks or we don't want to have to go the four hours once a month, let's say to New York or DC or down to Duke. Um, let's get the tune up. I call it my tune up right here and I can talk to somebody. It's still unclear if this year's event met its $70,000 fundraising goal. Because Pancakes for Parkinson's is free, it relies on donations from students, faculty, alumni, and local businesses in order to raise money. While some worry that the 1230 football game would deter people from attending, Henry believes an event of this scale would not be possible any other weekend. Yeah, so we actually specifically choose homecoming weekend every year just because we think a lot of people will be in town for the football game. And our hopes are that they stop by the lawn beforehand and then head over to Scott Stadium and to hopefully see a, a Hoos victory. The amount that UVA's Pancakes for Parkinson's raises annually for the Michael J. Fox Foundation is a drop in the bucket of their $90 million research budget. But for people like Allback, living in a community where Parkinson's is talked about and those with it are supported is life-changing. Reporting from Charlottesville for WUVA News, I'm Harley Robertson.